Yo guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to mod ETD battles. It's pretty simple. All you will need is 7-zip and Visual Studio Code. Both the links will be down in the description. Right. So you need to make a folder called ETD modding. Once you made it, you need to make a file inside that folder called BTD Battles. Yeah. And then once you've done that, I should have been ready for this already, you get the data from when your where your BTD is stored, which would be in program Steam Steam Apps Common BTD Battles assets and you will want to copy your data into the BCD battles modding replace this file in this destination if you already have one in there then you want to click it zip extract here you will need your zip password which I do not have zip password will be in the description as well <coughs> nope I'm going to delete my assets. <clears throat> then you want to go 7 zip extract here, enter password. Yep, okay, and it will start downloading all the assets and stuff. Before we do that, you need to make a new folder. Oh, I forgot how to do it. New, new text document. That one will be the zip password. You need to make the backup, where you put the back the data object from your BTD, the non-modded one, into here, so that if you lose it, boom. Right now, I'm going to be showing you how to actually mod. <clears throat> first things first, we need to go down to weapon definitions, and then. Whichever mod you want to do, I'm going to be doing the Ninja Monkey, and let's just do the normal one. Wait for it to open, because, yeah, it takes a long time. We've got too many set passwords open. Alright, don't say it. So we have this. Now, what you will need to do, if you, I'm going to make a super fast mod for you guys. Which will be 0 0.009. I'm gonna have, and then, which is gonna make it super fast. Target range. I'm gonna keep that spin rate radius. I'm gonna make it eight. Speed. Yeah, we're gonna make that to 950. Pretty simple for the movement. Yep. Ninja Stars, number persistence, I'm going to change that to 4, so it sh should shoot out 4 throwing stars. Amount, damage type, person amount, I'm going to put to 4 as well, 4 as well. Status effect, I'm going to leave that because I do not know what that is. So once you've done that, I'm gonna, you have to press Control S, which saves it. Go back, back to your BTD battles, and then you wanna delete that data. Assets, 7 zip, add to achieve, data.jet, and then you want to copy all of this. Achieve format will be zip, compression, norm, compression level normal, compression method deflate. Dictionary size 32 kilobytes, word size 32, number of CPU threads 4. You will need to enter your password, which is that. I'll leave that in the bottom down below the description. Zip, press OK, and then it will start doing that. And then once you've done that, oh god. Um, let me just delete one real quickly. 
two seconds when we're on. Delete. Sorry for the hold up guys, but you know, things have to be done. Yeah, goodbye. So, you're gonna need to delete that. Great. Now I'm gonna have to redo it. 7 zip, add to achieve, data dot jet, we need to change the name to. Enter password, you need to do two times, OK, and it will start to do that. And then you'll want to copy that, which is your now your modded version, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, BCD battles, assets, and then you'll want to copy and paste that replace a file in the destination and then we are going to go on to our btd this is my modded account guys so uh, yeah i'm flagged but i can still play matches but you cannot play matches against people that do not have mods else it will crash and you can't play with them with mods anyway people you don't know so once you've done this make sure you go into i'm going to go into quick play Battle school practice. 